Surrogacy can be a viable option for individuals or couples who are unable to conceive a child on their own. However, like any other medical procedure, there are potential risks and complications involved. It is important for intended parents and surrogates to be carefully consider the potential benefits of uh, uh, the risks of uh, uh, surrogacy and work with reputable professionals to ensure that the pro process is properly managed and all the parties involved are protected. Guys, welcome. The channel is Tutor Talks. Tutor Talks is your channel. It has here been for some time. I want to appreciate those who have subscribed to our channel. Kindly, today we are going to talk about something very important. The matter is surrogacy. Surrogacy, that is uh, what we are going to talk about today. Welcome guys to our video. And uh, kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. So that, uh, because that is the best way in which you can support us. So guys, what is uh, surrogacy? What is surrogacy? What is surrogacy? Surrogacy is a process in which a woman uh, or uh, in which a woman agrees to carry and give birth to a child for another person or a couple. Surrogacy is a, a process in which a woman agrees to take uh, or carry uh, a pregnancy or uh, for another person or for for another couple so that is the simplest way in which we can define uh, surrogacy so the intended uh, parent typically provide their own egg and sperm or uh, or use a donor uh, which is fertilized through the vitro fertilization or IVF and then Implanted and these uh, two are implanted into the surrogate uh, uterus. So the surrogate then carries the pregnancy to term and gives birth to the child. Surrogacy can be a complex process and may involve legal and ethical considerations uh, because there are some countries in which uh, surrogacy is not allowed, especially uh, here in Kenya. We don't have a clear uh, legal way in which one uh, is allowed to take uh, uh, surrogacy as an option uh, but uh, bit by bit is being welcome I know in uh, the advanced countries like in America that's the United States of America we have European countries like uh, Britain we have Germany we have also other Asian countries including the Philippines and also the United Arab Emirates, we have uh, Qatar, they also have our legal framework in which one is allowed to carry out the surrogacy way. So in, in uh, surrogacy, uh, the woman agrees to carry another couple or another woman's child after the, the, the male and the female have collected the sperm. So the lady uh, carries the pregnancy to term and then hands over the baby to the to the potential uh, parents who donated the sperm and the ova for for the child. So there are different types of surrogacy arrangements, including traditional surrogacy, in which the surrogate's own egg is used, and gestational surrogacy, in which the surrogate carries an embryo created using the internet parent's egg and sperm, uh, or using donor's eggs or sperm. So surrogacy is often considered by individuals or couples who are unable to conceive or carry a pregnancy due to various reasons. Uh, and those reasons can be either infertility, medical conditions, same-sex relationships. Uh, however, surrogacy is not legal in all countries like I've mentioned, I've mentioned and many be subject to various legal and ethical restrictions. It's better to seek legal and uh, medical advice before entering into surrogacy arrangements. So guys, I know this channel goes to many countries and I have many of you watching this uh, uh, channel from various countries. I want to know if surrogacy is allowed in your country and uh, what are the legal frameworks in place.
to ensure that uh, it is carried uh, successfully or it is working in your country. It's because uh, it's a matter of legal arrangement and also uh, medical arrangements according to the medical status of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the couples involved and also the surrogate mother involved to carry it to, to term. So I want to go through some of the reasons why uh, one chooses surrogacy or why, why one can choose to, to, do, to go surrogate way to get a baby. So in this video, we're going to, to, to mention around 12 reasons why people may consider surrogacy. Number one, and that is the major common cause why one can consider this, is about infertility because some of the some people consider maybe and be, may be unable to carry uh, the pregnancy by infertility we mean somebody is not able to give birth or is not able to carry the pregnancy so infertility is actually the number one cause which uh, can lead to one to go to surrogacy so uh, and infertility can be due to inf uh, uh, Due to other conditions uh, uh, as one of the option also there are medical conditions which cannot allow one to get pregnant so they are they go they, they opt for salogas way for them to have a biological child number two and that's also a major a major thing is same-sex couples i know i don't know about your country here in kenya uh, same-sex marriages are not allowed but i know in some countries like in european countries in, in america in some asian countries uh, same-sex marriage is allowed so in same-sex couples we know if you don't have an ova and also you don't have a sperm you can't get to conceive so in this uh, same-sex uh, uh, couples they choose uh, uh, surrogacy to have a child that is genetically related to one or both, or both partners. So depending on how they agree, I'm sorry for the background, that's an African setting, that's a cock growing and also telling us the time. Normally the cock is like a, uh, is like a what, you, what do we call it, it's like a timer. It tells us what the time it is, so it is growing, it's telling me the time is around 3 p.m. in the evening. So if you are to do something that you can do. So guys, uh, uh, so I've talked about same-sex couples because they actually they can't give birth and they want uh, their biological child maybe related to one of them or both of them. So that is the reason as to why also one may opt for surrogacy. Also, we have people, especially number three, I'm talking about single individuals. Single individuals may choose may use surrogates to have a child without a partner. This is where one is not ready to get married or get involved with someone. So they choose someone to carry uh, their baby. Especially if there's a lady, can choose uh, uh, now where we have a special uh, spam bank. They go and choose the kind of baby they want to conceive. They, uh, they, they, uh, the egg is harvested from them. So that uh, the baby can be conceived uh, somewhere else by a mother so that they can get a child without the other partner being involved so in some instances in some countries this is allowable through the law where one can choose uh, to have surrogacy uh, as a as a single individual healthy concerns is also one of the things which can make one choose surrogacy Women who have a medical conditions that make uh, pregnancy dangerous or impossible may use surrogacy to carry pregnancy to term. So, uh, especially women who are very endangered, uh, there are some conditions which are very dangerous during pregnancy. So, if the lady considers to be very dangerous at some point, surrogacy can be the best option for, for them so that to avoid the danger and also the death of the mother at a particular point so they get a surrogate, a surrogate mother to carry the pregnancy to term where now you get the egg is harvested from the husband or the, uh, the man and also the egg is harvested from the lady and also in a special way they get fertilized and also the mother gets to carry 
the surrogate mother gets to carry the pregnancy to term to help this uh, couple have that baby. Age, uh, so because as women get old, the ability to conceive naturally decreases. So surrogacy may be an option for older women who want to have a child. So age is very important. So if uh, you get someone, maybe a uh, lady is uh, get, uh, uh, getting old and uh, maybe uh, she has tried to conceive and it's not possible. So this uh, surrogacy is a very good option for them. So where they can be harvested from both of the, the sperm and also the egg from the lady and the surrogate mother can carry the pregnancy to term so that they may have a, a child for older women who want to have a child. So we also have genetic concerns. Some people have genetic concerns or be, maybe carriers of uh, genetic diseases, including some genetic cancers. So surrogacy can allow them to have a biological child without passing on these uh, genetic concerns. So if there is that uh, genetic uh, problems and you do not want to pass them to the child, so uh, this, uh, the, this is considered, surrogacy is considered, where now the, those uh, bad genes are not passed into the next uh, generation through a special way where now that's medical, medically involved. So that is also well taken care of at uh, that level through the surrogacy way. Also, we have uh, when uh, we have uh, failed IVF attempts, especially IVF is also a way where egg is harvested and also the the, the sperm is harvested. The lady, the, the, they are they are um, fertilized and they they are put in a, in the the lady where now they get to cut the pregnancy into into term but if in some instances the ivf fails in such kind of instances where the couple is involved the lady involved the couple or lady involved is not able to carry the pregnancy now they introduce the second mother that's the surrogate, surrogate mother to carry the pregnancy to term in this in the case of failed attempts of the ivf also, we have complications during pregnancy. Some women may have complications during pre pregnancy, which may make it very difficult or unsafe for them to cut the pregnancy to term. So sur surrogacy is also a way to them to have uh, a child. So there are ladies especially who develop very bad condition, very bad uh, side effects, especially when they are pregnant, like those people with the high blood pressure, uh, very bad preeclampsia, preeclampsia now, where a mother gets to convert during pregnancy, and we don't want to a mother to undergo that way, that those things in uh, during pregnancy. So we introduce a surrogate mother to call that those into 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 the pregnancy into term. Also, surrogacy can be also a personal choice. Some people may simply prefer surrogacy as a way to have a child, as it may be their preferred method of uh, family uh, building. So someone can choose to be a surrogacy as a mode of getting a child. Not necessarily they have other conditions, but they want to get the child through surrogacy. And that is also preferred method. Also religious beliefs. For some individuals or couples, surrogacy may align their, may align their religious beliefs. There are those who believe that surrogacy is, uh, it works well with them, with their religion. So it's also a, an option for them. Also, uh, when you get that, uh, another reason is when you get that the adoption is not an option uh, because, uh, uh, because uh, we may get that the couple, they are after communicating, they, are, they consider uh, adoption as not an option for them, so they consider surrogacy as an option. So cultural reasons also, in some cultures, having biological child is highly valued. And surrogacy can be a way to achieve this uh, this goal. So, uh, because uh, especially here in Africa setting, having a, your biological father more than even a, a, a child is very is highly considered, especially in the matters in inheritance. It is considered uh, even in an African setting that some cultures in which a child who is not uh, your biological child cannot even bury you during your 
your demise. So the, it's very important be, uh, because of the cultural practices that one gets a biological child uh, through that pro process of uh, surrogacy. So surrogacy, dictate, the culture dictates one to have that biological child and when surrogacy is the only option, uh, one is likely to go uh, for it. So those are the, re the reasons I've mentioned. Number one, I've mentioned is about infertility. Uh, number two, I've mentioned about same-sex couples. Number three, I've uh, mentioned about single individuals. Number four, I've mentioned about health concerns. Number five, I've mentioned about age. Number six, I've mentioned about genetic concerns. Number seven, I've mentioned about failed uh, IVF attempts. And also, number eight, I've uh, mentioned about complications during pregnancy. Number nine is about surrogacy as, as a personal choice. Number ten is about religion or religious beliefs. Number 11 is uh, when adoption is not an option. Number 12 is about uh, cultural reasons about uh, when why one should get into surrogacy. So, so those are some of the few reasons why one can or can dictate one to go for surrogacy. So like any medical, like any other medical procedures, uh, surrogacy can involve potential complications. So it is not a walk in the park. Surrogacy also has complications. And here are some of the possible complications associated with the surrogacy. Number one is emotional and psychological challenges. Surrogacy can be emotional and psychologically challenging for all parties involved. Intended parents may experience anxiety and stress during the process, while surrogates may struggle with letting go of the baby after carrying it to term. So uh, the process of that surrogacy is, is also very complicated psychologically and emotionally for the the partners involved and also the mother calling out the carrying the pregnancy so number two is about medical conditions pregnancy and childbirth carry inherited risks and surrogates may experience complications such as high blood pressure gestational diabetes and also what we call postpartum uh, depression number three is about legal issues surrogacy arrangements can be complicated and it can be legal issues that arise during the process. So it is important to have a clear contract in place and work with a lawyer who is knowledgeable about surrogacy laws in your area. So it's always good before you involve yourself in surrogacy that you find what is the law in your country. Because uh, as I've mentioned, that especially in Africa, most of the African countries, they, we have not, uh, they have not advocated for surrogacy because there is no legal framework over the same. So find a lawyer who really understands about the law to advise you before you engage into, into this uh, area of, uh, uh, of, uh, of surrogacy. Because sometimes one can involve themselves in surrogacy and you may find yourself in rotting in jail because of that. And also there are also a lot of legal implications over that. Also financial concerns. Surrogacy can be very expensive and the intended parents may struggle with the cost of the process. Because uh, like in uh, many settings, and also in some settings, we find that the, the insurance cannot cover sur surrogacy. So one has to cover a lot of money for it, and that can be also be a very complicated uh, affair on the financial kind of a thing. So in addition, surrogates may face financial challenges if they are not properly compensated or if unexpected medical expense arise. So that is a very important thing to consider. It's also a complication of surrogacy. Social stigma, surrogacy is still not widely understood or accepted in some uh, communities, like I've mentioned, especially here in Kenya and in Africa. Uh, it's not really, uh, it's not very understood. And intended parents or surrogates may face uh, social stigma or discrimination as a uh, as a result. So also uh, multiple pregnancies can be also be a complication of surrogacy. In some cases multiple embryos may be implanted during surrogacy process which can result in multiple pregnancies and increase the risk of complications for both the surrogate and the and the babies. So there, there, are, there are risks involved about the uh, in this process of embryo because the embryo is formed then transferred to the mother after the fertilization. So there is a likelihood of having that multiple pregnancies and we have a lot of uh, risks involved about the multiple pregnancy. So as much as some are successful to term, 
it can also involve a lot of uh, complications at some point. Also, we have birth uh, defects. There is a high risk, uh, high, uh, there is some risk which is involved of birth defects, uh, defects which uh, can be through the, uh, through the assisted uh, technologies, including the uh, surrogates. As much as there is a clear and also very intense kind of uh, uh, practice which is done before one is uh, put into a, surrogate, into a surrogacy, so there's also complications which may become with birth defects uh, as, a, as a complications of, uh, of that. So it is important to discuss the potential complications with the medical profession and a lawyer before pursuing surrogacy ensure that you fully understand the risks and the benefits of the process. So uh, here I want to mention about some, some, way, some of the ways in which one can prevent the complications involved in surrogacy. So some potential complications of surrogacy cannot be fully prevented, but there are steps that can be taken to minimize the risks. So we are going to talk about minimize, minimizing uh, the risks especially. So number one, choose a, repu a reputable surrogacy agency. Most of the time it's the agencies which do this kind of uh, exercise. So working with a reputable agency can help ensure that surrogacy process is properly managed and that all parties involved are protected. So choose a reputable surrogacy agency so that you, you know what really happens and uh, from the case studies which have been done and also the really situations which are there, so that you you want you get to uh, you get to be get involved in a, a better way. So select uh, and number two is select a health surrogate. Choosing a surrogate is in is in a good a surrogate who is in good health and has low risk uh, low risk pregnancy history can help minimize the risk of medical complications. So selecting that mother will carry that baby to term is very important because if you choose a, a, a surrogate who has a, other medical conditions you get to land into a lot of problems also have a clear contract in place like our missions i mentioned earlier a clear and a detailed contract can help prevent legal issues and ensure that the parties are on the same page regarding expectations compensation compensation and also responsibilities so they should be clear uh, cut lines on on what is expected of the surrogate mother also what is involved what is the role of the partner who is uh, who, who was advocated for uh, for the for that and also the medical coverage and also the the nitty-gritty is involved in surrogacy should be clearly written down through a lawyer so that to avoid future complications which can come about with the surrogacy especially with the complaints of the surrogate mother and also the couples and also who, who is to do what, what's the role of the lawyer, what's the role of the doctor, what's the role of the surrogate mother and also all the same, the surrogacy as a whole. Also monitor the pregnancy closely, regular prenatal care and the monitoring can be help identify and address any potential medical issues on, on and also be uh, handled early as well as possible. Also use uh, assisted reproductive technologies responsibly because multiple pregnancies associated with complications can be minimized by using assisted, uh, assisted uh, reproductive technologies responsibly such as lim limiting the number of embryos uh, implanted. So on the, because of, uh, there's a lot of involved in uh, this reproduction and also getting the embryos to the surrogate mother so also that uh, technology, because you of using a known agency to do that one, that one can be really be minimized to avoid the complications as I mentioned uh, earlier in the, in the video. So also address emotional and psychological challenges, ensuring that all parties involved in surrogacy process have access to emotional and psychological support to help minimize uh, the risk of uh, emotional challenges, especially during the process of pregnancy and also after birth also the surrogate mother should be really be well taken care of through that process and also get to understand the best which is needed uh, at that particular point 
So guys, we are talking about surrogacy. And surrogacy is a very important aspect uh, because of many reasons, as I mentioned above, why one should get involved in surrogacy. So in conclusion, surrogacy can be a viable option for individuals or couples who are unable to conceive a child on their own. However, like any other medical procedure, there are potential risks and complications involved. So it is important to, for the intended parents and surrogates to be carefully uh, considered for potential benefits and risk of surrogacy and work with a, a reputable professional to ensure that the process is properly managed and all parties involved are protected, taking uh, step, uh, steps to prevent the complications such as choosing a healthy surrogate, having a clear cut uh, contract and also in place and monitoring the pregnancy closely which can help minimize the risks and also improve the chances of uh, improve the chances of successful uh, surrogacy experience so uh, it's very important that uh, one gets uh, to 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 make a, a very informed decision there's a legal aspect there's also the quality on what one wants to, uh, to get involved in so that uh, uh, at the end of the day as much as surrogacy is a complex proce process that involves many physical and emotional and legal considerations, while it, it can provide a viable option for intended parents who are unable to conceive or carry a child, it is important to consider the potential risks and the complications before embarking on a surrogacy journey. By taking preventive measures and working with experienced uh, professionals, it is important to minimize the risks and also uh, it is also possible to minimize the risks and achieve the successful surrogacy arrangement that benefits all uh, parties involved so for those guys who are not uh, able to give child to give birth to the child depending on the situations uh, or the reasons why which i mentioned above surrogacy is a good option to go for so long as uh, kindly go through the video bit by bit understand the nitty gritty involved Understand the country where you come from, whether you are in the, Amer the America side, you are in the Asian side, in the, side, in the Britain, in the Germany, in the Asian countries, the Philippines, in the uh, Great, uh, the, the, we have uh, the Arab Emirates, we have the Qatar area, we, if you are in African continent, know the law of your country, especially consult your lawyer on the on what the nitty gritty is involved in uh, the in this uh, surrogacy exercise guys i want to welcome you to our next video and kindly if you have not subscribed to the channel the channel is future talks my name is vincent and you subscribe and that is the best way in which you can support us for now guys welcome and also give uh, the video a like and also share it widely and also click that uh, notification bell because so that you know when we post our next video Guys, welcome, and also I want to wish you all the best. Peace, guys.